I actually lived in the neighborhood for about eight years and uh, got, got involved with the Drake Gardens Project uh, last year and became the team leader. I'm Mary Kay Freeze and I live next door to the garden and I've been here since 2000 and working in the garden since 2001. Hey, I'm Jewel Otten and I'm part of Drake Garden. I live in, right in the building in the back of us and I bought this condo in 2000 because it was such a gorgeous place not realizing um, the garden would be so important. Uh, my name is Kevin. i am uh, been living in Chicago for three years now, and this is my first uh, summer getting involved with uh, Chicago Cares and this garden. I'm Michelle Catalano. I'm a volunteer with Chicago Cares. Um, this is my first summer getting involved with the Drake Garden. I enjoy coming here uh, primarily because I get to spend some time outside and it's a way to get back to the community. I like Drake Garden. Um, I've been here three times now and I get to see progress. Um, things that we've done the first time that we were here are growing and blooming. I live in a high-rise apartment and then work in an office and very rarely get to spend time outdoors. Like waiting for the bus is pretty much all the outdoor time I spend in a week. Uh, so this is just a great excuse to be in the sun, fresh air, um, get my hands in the dirt. The best part is getting to know all the neighbors. I hang out here in the water and people are constantly coming to going. This little piece is a little piece of heaven. It makes our neighborhood a neighborhood. This is kind of the congregating place where you find out the news in the neighborhood. We have songbirds, which you don't necessarily hear in the city. And it's a wonderful open space so that you can get out of your little condo and enjoy a beautiful day like this and meet other people. I think what's special about it is that it's not so perfect so that if someone comes along with a plant and says, oh, I want to put this in the garden, we're open to anything because we don't have this marvelous plan where everything has to be perfect. And I think the fact that it's imperfect really attracts people. I go to the